Hello. Uh, if you're based in the UK, it's quite possible uh, you've started receiving your copy of Medici the Card Game from Grell Games. This is a slight re-implementation of the classic Medici game. Uh, it's got the lovely artwork that uh, we've come to expect from Grell Games and obviously um, Vincent, uh, was it Detract? Sorry, probably horribly mispronounced your name. Now, I actually quite like Medici, although I felt the auction mechanic was its weakest element. Uh, a couple of my colleagues tried the game and really hated the auction mechanic. And my family didn't particularly like the auction mechanic either. So I was very interested to see um, this slight re-implementation here, which um, I believe uh, Rando runs through did some great coverage of uh, for the Kickstarter. So the game, as you can see, um, comes in a nice small box, plays apparently two to six players takes half an hour 45 minutes and recommended age of 10 or more but you could probably play it with slightly younger people if uh, they're uh, particularly gamer friendly types anyway let's get this box open and have a look okay so on opening the box uh, you've got three rule books obviously i'm interested in the english one and what was surprising underneath was this lovely metallic foil cardboard money it looks great it is double-sided uh, it's a little bit shinier on one side than the other, so really nice touch that. You've then got this funky insert, which I do have potentially a little bit of a problem with because I'm not sure sleeve cards are going to fit in here. So again, um, yet more game manufacturers making brilliant uh, inserts, which are fantastic, just not very suitable for sleeve cards. Now, yeah, I'm probably going to have to ditch the insert to sleeve these cards. I am a sleeving fan, as you probably come to realise. Nice little touch of a baggy. Um, and as I say, this money pocket here looks great. I, I can see all the money stacking up there nicely. So uh, the baggy will be useful as I'm going to be ditching the, the insert. Now, is there anything underneath the insert? I doubt it. Just check. No. Nope. Now, one criticism I have seen uh, by a couple of people who've received it is that the insert should have gone... A bit higher up um, to you know let the sleeves fit in because I can see here that the cards currently all shrink wrapped do just about come to the top so by the time you've taken them out and shuffled them up and put them back in so that's a, a downside but the cards themselves look great let's get these open okay so you get quite a lot of cards and good mix of options so you've got uh, what is it grain if i remember correctly so grain uh, i need to double check on these two um i think they take the place of gold i um, need to have a look at the rule book and just remind myself uh your kind of herb um spice even um obviously your dye um kind of sheep and wolf pelt stuff like that uh cloth uh, some of the green cards, I notice, have um, these little symbols to help you. Try and get your little sets going. And then your little scoring sheet. So on one side, you've got, um, you know, your lady from the cover. And then on the other side, um, you've got the scoring. Uh, and then phase one scoring. So each player gets a phase one and a phase two card. So I need to sort this all out, have a quick read of the rule book, and just remind myself of how this varies from the original Medici. Okay, well I've sort of uh, pile shuffled uh, the deck so I can demonstrate the game. Uh, I am going to need to punch out this money, so let's have a quick... Yeah, nice thick coins. Um, the fives, worryingly a little bit small. I think they could have been a bit better, but... Yeah, that's really nice money, actually. Uh, you could pimp it with metal coins, I guess. Um, no desperate need to. So I'm going to punch out the rest of these. They they make a nice pop when they come out. They're really nice metallic cardboard coins. Very impressed with that. So let me punch those out, and then we'll start playing. Uh, basically, you draw up to three cards. You've got to take at least one card, and you can take up to three cards. And that's pretty much the game, to be honest. You do that three times, um, sorry, you do that until you can ship your goods, I should say, and you do that three times, and at the end you work out who's got the most money and, and win. So it's a pretty basic sort of push-your-luck um, 
game, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, get these coins punched and just show you a, a couple of rounds. Okay, so first player goes, they draw a card, and they think, oh, that's a nice card, a five of spice. But I'm going to push my luck a bit, so slide along. Hmm, seven, that's a good value card. Card number three. Okay, that's a pretty good turn up. That's 17 points. So let's sound greedy. I take all three of those cards, put them into my hold. Actually, if we move this up a bit. There you go. So that's in my hold. Next player goes, they get two spice. Um, actually, I'm thinking, do I actually do that? I, I might have got it wrong way around. Yeah, I think it's that way around. And... I don't really want the four, so they're going to try a third one. They've got another two spice, so they choose to take the two spice. Uh, do they want that? Um, yeah, let's say they take all of it. They take all of that. Okay, so aggressive opening hands. So I flip that. Well, it doesn't match up with anything I've got, so I don't really want it. I do like the score value, but I don't really want it. So let's flip. Ah, five. I want that. I'm going to stop there, take that, add it to my boat. So I've now got one, two, three, four cards in my hold. If I remember correctly, it's seven. Let me just check. Uh, two players. Yeah, seven cards. You ship, uh, and that ends the round. Um, with three to six players, it's five cards. So next player goes, ooh, two wool. Well, they've got two spice, two wool, one, two, three, four, five. They're going to take a chance and take that. Now, the problem they've got here is they've only got, what was that, nine, 12 points versus my 22. So I'm definitely winning on phase one. They're playing for phase two scoring, which are these cards here so let's go uh yeah not interested in silk right now not really interested in wheat i've got to take that that goes on there yeah two more cards and i'm done okay next player yeah they're not interested in that you'll notice how these cards stay here um let's just move them along a bit there you go Ooh, seven. That's going to get me closer to... But yeah, it's not really going to help. Um, yeah, I can turn up one more. i got to take the silk, so take the silk. Do I want to maybe push, a, push the boat across the ocean? Yeah, let me take that. Right, so player two is now on seven cards. That ends the round. So we then need to come to scoring phase one basically so in a two-player game the person with the most points uh, wins so I've got um, 27 the other player has 8 11 yeah 23 ish so I win so I get 20 coins so 20 coins this cargo doesn't go away it gets moved into your warehouse for long-term scoring, these cards get shuffled back into the deck. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to whack them on the bottom. So that is one round, basically. It can be over as quick as that. So we go again. Uh, I think I go first. So two, not interested. Three, not really interested. Seven. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the seven. I'm, I'm going for the big points. Oh, and if I remember correctly, these cards go away as well. So forgot about that let's uh oh, no actually maybe they don't check in the scorecard um so anyway uh next player goes oh wheat they've already yeah they're going to take all of that so that goes in the boat so I'm back to me and so on and so forth in until you get to the end of the round and then at the end of the game can up how many points Okay, so the production quality on this game is pretty good. It's got this lovely insert, which sadly for me is pretty useless. Uh, but if you don't like sleeving your cards, then it's probably great. Uh, the coins, fabulous, really nice. Um, as I say, they, I'm not sure why these have to be quite so small. I would have preferred them to be closer in size to, to this, because um, I can see those getting lost quite easily. Card quality, 
um, they feel nice, nice artwork on both sides. Um, scoring cards, nice and clear. Um, not sure why they couldn't have maybe considered different artwork on the back. Um, minor nitpick, not a problem. Rule book seems pretty clear, full colour throughout. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty clear how to play it. A nice little advert for the original Medici on the back cover and a photo of Reiner himself. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm hoping my friends would give it a go, having not enjoyed the original version of the game. The only problem is now how to sleeve these cards. I need to check these. I've got a sneaky feeling these are not poker cards. They look a little bit thin and tall relative to poker cards, so I need to quickly check that and um, then try and get it to the table and hopefully it has a bit more success with my local group. Um, it's this fun, quick, simple, push your luck game um, where you're obviously doing some strategy to not only win the day but also win the long term, you know, three phase round so, you know, you get your points off your day, but then you want to win in... F oh, that's number one, what's gone on there. Number two, then you want to win on this phase and um, make sure, you know, you've, you've got the, big, the biggest uh, scores. Anyway, there you go.